Welcome to Premia TNC YouTube channel, your go-to destination for insightful financial advice and tips. Today, we're diving into a crucial topic, Decoding Taiwan Taxes, a beginner's guide to filing taxes in Taiwan. If you're new to navigating Taiwan's tax system or looking to improve your understanding, this video is perfect for you. We'll break down the essentials, offer practical advice, and ensure you're equipped to handle your taxes with confidence. Stay tuned and let's unravel the mysteries of Taiwan's tax landscape together. Navigating Taiwan's tax system is crucial for individuals and businesses to ensure compliance and financial efficiency. This guide provides a concise overview of key aspects, including personal income tax, corporate taxation, value-added tax VAT, and other taxes. From expatriates understanding their tax obligations to business owners optimizing tax planning, this resource offers clarity and practical insights. We explore deductions, exemptions, and strategies to navigate Taiwan's tax landscape effectively. Whether you're new to Taiwan or a seasoned resident, mastering its tax system is essential for financial success. Join us as we demystify Taiwan's taxation framework and empower you to make informed decisions for compliance and financial optimization. Let's delve into the Taiwan's tax system. Taiwan's taxation system is divided into local and national levels. The Ministry of Finance is responsible for collecting national taxes from people and corporations in accordance with the numerous tax categories stipulated by law. On the other hand, local governments rely on regional tax offices to collect taxes on construction, land, and acquisitions. Furthermore, Taiwan's government has a variety of direct tax categories, including the following. Deed, house, land value incremental. Agricultural land, land value, gift, future transaction and security transaction. Taiwan also has a number of various indirect taxes at local and national levels. Next, income tax in Taiwan. Taiwan's income tax is subdivided into income tax on individuals and income tax on corporations. Here are the differences. Firstly, income tax on individuals. If you spend more than 182 days in Taiwan in a year, you are recognized as a resident under Taiwan's tax legislation and are liable to the minimum tax computation on income earned in and outside Taiwan. For a tax resident, the tax rates will range from 5% to 40%, depending on your taxable income. If you spent fewer than 183 days in Taiwan in a calendar year, your income would be subject to withholding tax at a set rate of 18 to 21%, depending on the type of income. Secondly, income tax on corporations. Profit-seeking organizations in Taiwan are required to record all business revenue earned onshore and abroad, worldwide basis. Corporate income tax is fixed at 20%. Each year, between May 1st and May 31st, the company is obliged to disclose its earnings for profit-making business by submitting a statement of settlement. If your fiscal year does not run from January 1st to December 31st, you must file your corporation tax return within five months after the end of the fiscal year. In the event of income derived from sources outside Taiwan, income tax paid in accordance with the relevant country's tax regulations may be deducted from the total corporation tax payment amount, but not from any tax that exceeds the tax amount computed at Taiwan's applicable tax rate. Thirdly, withholding tax. A withholding tax is an income tax that is paid to the government by the payer of the income instead of the receiver of the money. Thus, tax is withheld or deducted from the recipient's income. The general withholding tax rates on income generated from sources in Taiwan is listed beside for resident and non-resident beneficiaries. Moreover, let's explore on value-added tax VAT. Taiwan's company tax or VAT system is largely comparable to that of several European nations. Unless otherwise indicated in the tax legislation, VAT is charged at each level of the supply chain on products and services sold inside the territory of Taiwan. The business tax on imported products is computed using the statutory tax rate and the gross value of the items after customs duty, commodities tax, and, if applicable, tobacco and alcohol tax. For reference, the business tax or VAT rate is given in the table below. Moving on to the Taiwan Stamp Tax. 
It's important to note that this tax is charged on payment receipts, deeds of sale of personal property, and real estate transactions, as well as contractual agreements. The following table summarizes the types of papers and their associated tax rates. It is the responsibility of the person who signs or issues the document to pay the stamp tax. If both parties choose to retain the original document, they must each pay the stamp tax on the original document. Next, we have the commodity tax, a one-time tax on specific commodities imported or manufactured domestically. This tax is computed based on the statutory tax rate and the gross value of the items after customs duty and other applicable taxes. Lastly, the securities transaction tax applies to most securities transactions, excluding government bonds and some tax-exempt securities. The tax rates vary depending on the type of security transaction, ranging from 0.000001% to 0.6% for futures transactions and 0.3% for shares and options. Fortunately, taxation in Taiwan is straightforward. You can visit a tax office and consult with a professional or use Taiwan's electronic filing system. You may pay your taxes using the following methods, wire transfer, payments through debit or credit cards, payments made with paper checks or cash. While Taiwan has several tax categories, the tax rate for expats in Taiwan is often lower than in many other nations. Additionally, Taiwan provides an easy-to-use tax system for overseas residents. In conclusion, understanding Taiwan's tax system empowers you to make informed decisions about tax filings and payments. Whether you're an expat or a resident, Taiwan's tax system offers clarity and ease of use. If you have any tax-related questions or concerns, feel free to reach out to us for assistance. Thank you for watching, and stay tuned for more informative content.